the leaf hopper. This guy, when he jumps, he accelerates 100 g-forces. What does that mean, Bruce? Well, when you drop a ball, it accelerates real fast down to the ground. That's one g, one times acceleration of gravity. Test pilots or astronauts, when they're taking off, when they hit about 10 g's, 10 times as fast as a ball will drop, they're in danger of blacking out. So they literally test them in centrifuges that spin them around and around to see can they withstand it. Here's what 10 g-forces looks like on the human body. Wow. It's pushing their entire face backwards. They're moving forward so fast. Well, this little insect, he takes off 100 g's, 10 times faster than humans can withstand. A human wouldn't survive. Well, there's a bigger problem than that. You see, he's walking through the forest, dum 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 dum, -dum the little leaf hopper, and his brain says, jump. The signal has to go down to his legs, that we know how fast the signal moves, we know how fast the legs will contract, and it's impossible for that nerve signal to hit both legs fast enough for both legs to move at the same time. One of them's gonna move a little quicker than the other. But well, then he's gonna go off to the well, side, he's right? He's taking off like a bullet out of a gun. That's the visual. He's like a bullet coming out of a gun. What happens if one of his legs shoves a little quicker than the other? He's gonna just... He'll go sideways, his brain's gonna hit the tree because he's not going straight fly over the forest, no more leaf hopper. Scientists are thinking, how does he move in a straight line? How does he get both legs to move perfectly in unison? Well, they studied this deep down inside of the little nymph, the little baby leaf hopper that moves this fast. This is what they found. Two perfectly formed gears, one attached to the right leg, one attached to the left leg. So if one leg starts to move, both legs have to move in perfect unison. Those gears weren't made by mankind. They're made inside of an insect. If this thing is, is evolved or developed at 90%, it's, it's, it still won't work. It won't work. The legs won't move, the insect's gonna die. So this entire gear system is going to have to be, to be all complete. there. The ligaments, the gear, the pitch, the angle, the length of the, the fins, everything. You see, it all has to be perfect or nothing works. Now, an evolutionist will look at that and it will say, wow, look what evolution created because it's useful. But it, it, it's just a word. It doesn't explain it unless small changes could make it happen. You see, pretend there's an insect that just has not a gear, a pre-leaf hopper, just a, some sort of a little round little protein. How are you going to turn it into a gear? It would be like hitting this nut with a hammer. I'm going to make a nick, I'm going to make a change, that's a mutation. I hit it again, another mutation, 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 mutation. I might even form little fins, but unless they're all perfect and perfectly aligned, it's useless.